everybody, Antonis here. So in this video, I will carry on with that piece, and now I'm applying materials to it. The material I'm just I will be just share the material here, and you you're free to just get it and slap it into your scene. You have to put zero effort, and I don't actually want to be really educated on that that much because I kind of hacked it all together pretty quickly myself, and I'm not a big expert in technical details. So yep, so I have my ground here, ground bricks here. Uh, and already I signed a material. So what I've been using was the standard Megascan surface blend. You can see it here. It's uh, in the standard library in the Megascan presets. So if you double click on that, I will I will be able to load up the material and the whole uh, thing. Then if I go into the original layers and I say go into the top layer, double click here, uh, I replace the EV section here that, with this with this guy. This is a trap tra tra projection. And trap planner projection came from this particular guy on Reddit. So I'll give the link uh, for the description in the description. And you can, what I did, I copy pasted this uh, setup and then change it a little bit to modify it a little bit, turn some stuff to parameters like tiling setup. And it, it just copy pasted it in all of, you know, all of these layers. And then if I just you now go here, create a material instance and say uh, just drag and drop it on top, we can see uh, just a standard um, textures there. So what I want to go is I want to activate these textures and then I go into the materials that been brought in already and I just drag and drop these guys here. So it's different from what uh, Unreal 4 has. Unreal 4 allows you to actually mix different uh, materials together uh, um, Unreal 4 Megascans uh, plugin here you kind of have to do it by hand and, and I made a mistake yeah so now we have a little bit of a setup here and you can see here this is what I introduced because I really needed the tiling support so I can change the size of this texture make it bigger or smaller and uh, yeah, if you make it bigger, the texture retains uh, its scale, so I can go and modify the stuff um, as I want, make it smaller and bigger. That took me some time to actually to modify. And the issues that I have here is that if I rotate the object in some kind of awkward angle, the stuff will start to really... Uh, stretch a lot so i don't know how to solve that problem it's some kind of issue to deal with the projection i'm pretty sure it should be a pretty easy fix but you don't have time to fix it if you have a solution please post it in the comments and you know i, will, I can add it to that gamma text which is available for free and it will be great to see some collaboration too because i'm not really a technical artist to make this all run really good i just wanted to make it for my conceptual needs so go grab it on Gumroad, uh, the link uh, will be here, it will be in the description. Thank you for watching, I hope it will be helpful you know, in your environments.